Good news guys, we are bringing back double entries week for the last week of the Can-Am giveaway. Right now through August 14th, for every $1 spent on our website at GetHushin.com equals two entries to win this fully loaded Can-Am Defender XT. So make sure you get your entries in and good luck. Well guys, welcome to Kentucky. Pretty last minute decision to, to get a tag out here in Kentucky and and uh, come out here for a whitetail hunt. So Jay, Sugar Jay, you guys know Jay? He, uh, he's been hunting this land for the last few years or more. How long have you hunted out here, Jay? Seven years. Seven years. You see bucks? Yeah. What we try to do is we try to mow all this. It's been so wet it's so that we haven't wet. had a chance, so they'll get it mowed before October. And then it'll definitely be mowed before the gun hunt. I don't know that it'll make it for archery, which I don't really care if it makes it for archery. Because I don't necessarily hunt in the in here. Mm -hmm. Right? I hunt the phrase for the archery hunt. So that's Copperhead Road over there. That tree line. This is Cerisa, right? This is the biggest invasive weed on the planet. Uh, right now, it's beautiful. You're like, oh, this is great. And the, <laughs> the, the turkeys love it. You know what I mean? Because the grasshoppers get up in it. And there's, but when it dries out, dude, it's like walking through barbed wire. Like it'll literally tear your clothes off of you. Mm. Scratch all your guns. Scratch all your lenses. Everything. It's yeah. just turns into the biggest pain in the butt you've ever seen so yeah guys welcome to Kentucky I uh, had a chance to hunt this state a couple years back with the guys at stealth cam shot a early season buck we were out there with whitetail heaven for opening week and I got the green light to kind of shoot a management style looking buck we were after a really cool one I named him candle drops Never did catch up to him, he stopped coming in. It's a funny time of the year, that early September, because a lot of the bucks are rubbing their velvet off. So it could be a tri tricky time to hunt them. But we're gonna give it a try this year with the bow. It's pretty nice. I haven't seen See that yeah, trap, What? I like a hill of trail back It here. is. Exactly what it is. Off that friggin bank, trailer. What are you learning? Talk about delete the TikTok. Is it gone? It's still here. It's still here, but I'm just seeing people post on IG. Donald Trump Jr. said, Bye bye, Chinese spyware. I'm sure there are plenty <laughs> of options to replace TikTok without hostile foreign power. Uh oh. she gone, boys. I think she's gonna be gone. But that's okay. I only had 2,000 followers over there anyway. So, big deal. <laughs> I'm gonna delete it and pretend I'm a patriot. And I yeah, was the whole time. <laughs> so, I definitely came prepared with some uh, tall muck boot style boots. But, Ben, Ben said, you know, I'll just pick some up when we get there. $16.99, boys. I like to come unprepared, see what I'm gonna need, and just buy it there. It really, like, it, for me to check a bag to come out here, it was like 60 bucks. So I flew carry-on, and I'm gonna spend 16 bucks on boots. 16. They all 39.99. Oh, these are 20. Right here, dude. 16.99 right here. See these? Not bad. 16.99. Not bad. They'll last me. I mean, I'll probably use them out here five times this year. It is soaking wet out here. So a thunderstorm just rolled through this part of Kentucky, and everywhere is drenched. Everything is mud, and the grasses that are like this tall are all soaked. So no matter what you do, you walk through it, you get pretty wet. Uh, so we're here in town. We're going to grab some stuff um, here at Tractor Supply. I think we're going to get some corn, some boots, whatever miscellaneous items we need. And then we're going to go get some breakfast. And we have a whole bunch of work to do out on the property. So they're going to cut some grass, mow some areas, of course, set cameras, stands, feeders, etc. So feeding or baiting, whatever you want to call it, is legal out here in Kentucky. I'm sure plenty of the people who live out here are familiar with that system. Um, but you can hunt over corn or whatever you want. You can make it as hard as you want, hunt travel routes, 
does it matter we'll probably do a little bit of everything slick dude see that boys suddenly prepared i'm like a real old whitetail hunter what do i need the 11s Say what's up? What's up? <laughs> My new friends right there. Good luck this year, man. Huh? Good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, man. You too. Well, Jay got the whole pallet of deer corn and then a couple of these tro trophy rock salts. From Utah with love right yeah, here. Yeah, no kidding. This is from Redmond Salt right there in central Utah. Flies in Kentucky. Next level, huh? Get different, dude. Why is it an inch and a half long? Let it bite you. It's all about that tick repellent. You don't want to mess around with the ticks out here, I am told. So. Get, hit ourselves up with this pretty good before we get work started. So they've got the tractor out here cutting trails and kind of clearing the way from these big, okay. tall weeds and grass. But look, you can see where the tractor's gone through to cut a trail for the trucks. And they say the deer use them like crazy too, because I mean, look how, how tall this stuff is right here. But we're at one of Jay's tripod stands. Jay's up there in the tripod. We're gonna unload some corn and get his little feeder station set up right here. Loading up the corn. Got it. You guys gonna take it over there? No, this will work. Wonder how many bags. Did he say how many bags he wants? Four. We need four bags. Working the working the white tail property. So, a lot of work, just a different different type of work. That's for sure. That Jay's got. And he's got a tripod blind right there. I don't know about that spot. Looks like you're gonna get skylined to me. <laughs> Are you sitting? Look at that. <laughs> this is crazy, man. This is a entirely different program than what we're used to hunting public land out west or Utah, whatever. But uh, this is how a lot of people do it. Not everybody, but it's fun because it's different. Try to find a shed antler out here. <laughs> Good luck with that. Man, being out here just makes me want to like walk through a lot of the woods. So far we've just kind of drove around and glassed some of the fields. But uh, my curiosity just makes me think like what's in the dark timber? So this isn't really like the tall wooded stuff on this property. But it would be fun to hunt in the woods, I, I feel like. Sounds like we got a creek, a pretty uh, good flowing creek down here in the bottom. And he don't care to shoot one unless it's over. He's trying to kill a 200 inch. Good. What you got there? A little bit of trail cam action. Nobody here believes you can raise them. I was like, dude, we can food plot them and bring them in here as you do. Goodness. So heavy and tall. I said if you quit shooting them four year old eight points and four year old ten points and start shooting them six points and Dang, give me some of that. Get it. Get it. Well we're getting rained on, so took cover in the truck. Muddle house, baby. <laughs> First timer.
Huddle House, huh? Huddler. What they got? About everything that Denny's has got, basically. They've got lunch and dinners. Is there breakfast all day? All day, baby. What's up, skillets? You film breakfast or lunch? It's kind of like breakfast. The, I want eggs all the it's time. It's kind of like the Middle Earth country of Waffle House, right? You go down in like the southeast, you get Waffle House. Here you get Punch Huddle House. Huddle House. house. Skillet, huh? Yeah, I'm all about that breakfast life bad. too. I mean, I'm gonna have to make up for all the meals we missed. I'm probably gonna get breakfast and lunch. You should, right? Never I'm be hungry, hungry again. Dude. I could add a pancake to whatever. I mean, you didn't eat last night. No, oh, man. You didn't eat this morning. You didn't eat lunch. Trying to keep my body weight up here. You're making it hard on me. Look at her come Look at all the geese. So we sat here. Is that how they call it? Guys, guys, huh? 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 Big old pile of corn and some mineral salt. Yellow gold. <laughs> I'm bringing the big bucks. Nom. So good. This is a pretty cool spot that you could probably do like a hanging hunt style or a tree saddle, like up in one of those trees. Or if you wanted to and you had enough uh, backdrop, you can do a tree saddle over in that tree and that's like 21 yards from here. But yeah, this little station will be a good I don't know, I feel like it'd be a good evening spot. Obviously it could be a good morning spot as well, but a lot of deer I'm sure are gonna be moving out of this timber and out in this direction to feed in the evening. Could be a sweet spot depending on the wind. The real question is what is back here in all the trees? What did the deer do around here? Come back here in bed? We've all been on a handful of whitetail hunts but they've all been different. And uh, hunting them early season, I think you're basically gonna catch them in their summer patterns, moving from bedding to feed. And I think we can do that pretty well with some of the setups we have. So super excited. Season out here starts September 5th. So we'll be out here for opening weekend with a bow. Some of the bucks will still be in velvet then. That one bedded up. Wait till you guys see this place. Bam. Shooters for days. Shooters for days, baby. So that buck we saw tonight was probably the biggest none of these deer. <laughs> Look at these none guys. These guys. Yeah, bigger than that one. He might have been bigger than the albino. Yeah, there's an albino. Look at all these bucks. You gotta take a good look at each one of them. Yeah, look at the extras on that one. Couple in lines. You got some heavy mass on this guy. One of my favorites. Just got like a picture perfect buck here. Heavy bases, which is way cool. And check out the bases on that guy. 
one of my favorites there. This one's one of my favorites there. That one's one of my favorites. They're all my favorites. For real, they're all pretty sweet. This is where we crashed in the bunkhouse. Been sleeping there. That's my bed over there. <laughs> the guy who owns this place is a taxidermist, so can you imagine? If I had the addiction that I have with animals and I could do taxidermy, it's a dangerous combination to involve. All right, give us the outro. Hey guys, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video today. I hope you got some good knowledge out of it about how you can start your scouting for early season whitetails. Thanks for enjoying. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> you know we're using it though. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Anyways, guys, we are going to bed. So we'll see you in the morning. We got a couple more stands to look at and a couple more archery setups we want to get set up before we leave. So we'll see you guys in the morning.